Good morning, good morning. I am getting ready to go over to my uh, pickup place and uh, we'll see if my load is ready. But it is raining. I don't know when it's going to stop raining here in Calgary. It's only like 12 degrees right now. It's like <laughs> cold. And you go outside, you almost need to wear a sweater or something because it's getting cold. So let's go over there and see if uh, we will have good luck today and see if our load will be ready on time. And if it is, well, good for us, right? So let's get over there. Here we go, guys. We have finally gotten our, our load. It's 3.30 in the afternoon already, Manitoba time. So 2.30 uh, Alberta time. We're finally getting out of here. So we got ourselves a long, long, long day ahead of us. In 400 meters, turn right on Barlow Trail. We got 1,122 kilometers to go to Brandon. And we'll see how I feel tonight, but we might In 200 go meters, straight turn through. Right on Barlow Trail. We just might go straight through. We'll have to see. So let's get down the road and uh, have ourselves an awesome afternoon. Alrighty guys, we have just entered Saskatchewan here about a couple of minutes ago. And now we are in Saskatchewan. Yeah! So we still have a long day ahead of us. We only got about 350 kilometers in right now. Which is uh, already about three and a half to quarter hours worth of driving which is already a, a good start but we still got a long way to go <laughs> we actually got 769 kilometers to go yet until we will be in Brandon but uh, I figured I would uh, talk about something that I have come across here lately and that has to do with the uh, YouTube and Google Plus and all that stuff. And uh, some of the things that I have discovered is that uh, if you are on a uh, cell phone, especially on the iPhone or whatever, I'm pretty sure they're going to have this on the Android system as well. But if you are on a, on a mobile device, iPad, whatever, you know, uh, if you have the uh, YouTube app installed You will now be able to hit that little bell if you see on the top of your screen when you're on the subscriber page or whatever You will see a little bell in there now And that will allow you to get uh, notifications from your subscribers uh, If that subscriber uploads a new video you will be notified immediately usually within a couple of minutes you know not like you will have to go and check that subscriber to see if they got a new update you know so that would be really cool if you guys would do that on your app to click on that little bell there uh, when you are in my channel so that you get your uh, notifications immediately when I release the new video because sometimes you know I do release a video throughout the day or, or something like that the odd time you know Maybe not very often, but every once in a while, right? So uh, if you would like to uh, get notified right away, that's a good way to get it done. Now, here's the other part that I uh, mentioned at the beginning of my speech about Google+. Plus. Now what Google is attempting to do is uh, separate Google+, Plus from YouTube. Right now they are combined. If you want to uh, have a YouTube uh, username, you also have to create a Google Plus page. And they are trying to separate that. For right now, they are not going to completely separate it. You will still be able to link, be linked together. But uh, eventually they want to create it so that you don't have to be linked to YouTube or to Google Plus be able to have a YouTube account so and some of the other changes that they are going to make 
is that if you leave a comment on Google Plus on a video that for instance that if I release the video and you see it on Google Plus and you comment it on there that comment will no longer be displayed in the YouTube uh, section under my video that will only stay in Google Plus and if you leave a comment on on YouTube that comment will no longer be visible on Google Plus so they're separating them, the, them two also another feature that they are going to change is for instance some people they have it set up their Google page you know a Google Plus page that if you're not in their circle you can't reply or comment on their comments that they leave you on your Google or on your YouTube video you can't comment it on their comment or you can't reply to their comment well they're going to do away with that what they're going to do is they're going to make it so that everybody can reply to everybody if you leave a comment on on YouTube on the video I'll be able to reply to that particular comment Well, one feature that they're doing away with and the process of doing this that I'm sort of going to miss a little bit is uh, they're going to take away the uh, Google uh, the way they used to have it right now is with Google Plus being connected to it you could plus hit the plus mark and mention somebody in your comment they're going to do away with that you're still going to be able to uh, have like uh, uppercase words in there modify all that stuff you'll be able to leave links in, in your comments and stuff like that you'll still be able to leave a long comment if you want but you won't be able to mention anybody in your comment anymore and you will also not be able to uh, private comment somebody anymore on on youtube apparently that was possible no, that's no longer going to be possible every comment that you leave on YouTube is going to be visible to the public so that's some of the changes that are coming up I don't know the exact dates when they are going to be uh, rolling out with this but it will be very shortly but the uh, Google uh, not Google the YouTube uh, notification system on your Google or YouTube app has already been released and I already seen it on my iPhone after I updated my uh, YouTube app so that, those are some of the things that are going to be changing here very soon and I just figured I let you guys the viewers know of some of these changes that are going to come out that are going to happen here very soon and uh, hey look at the weather has changed dramatically now now we got dry roads a little bit of sunshine temperature is going up not like it was in Calgary raining raining and some more rain and cold and cold yeah so now we're finally back in uh, to warmer weather but we're gonna have to drive late tonight so i figured i get a little bit of a video done today because hey face it at night it's very hard to film anything you know not much you can see i might not even be able to do picture in picture because you won't be able to see me so anyways, that's about all I got for right now. We'll continue on with our journey. I'm going to definitely going to go up to uh, Moose Jaw here in Saskatchewan. And that's where we got to fly a jet. And that's where I got to fuel up. I won't be able to go much further than that. I might be able to push it to rejoin if I really wanted to. But I want to fuel up at the fly and jet. So... Uh, Let's get down there and see what happens. We're ready guys. We got about 80 kilometers to go to Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. That's where we'll be making a pit stop, fueling up the truck and probably getting me a bite to eat and then uh, we'll continue on with our journey. Yes sir, Bob, that's for sure. But the sun is almost uh, getting ready here to go down and so we won't have much uh, daylight after this so figured i do a little bit of a clip here before we go to bed and i mean not we won't be going to bed here anytime soon but before it's all dark before we can't be doing any recording anymore so figured just do a little bit of recording here before we can't do it anymore because it's dark so 
Anyways, we'll put the hammer down there towards Moose John. We'll fuel up and have ourselves a good night, you know. Well, guys, <clears throat> we made it to our destination here in Brandon late or early this morning. About a quarter to four, we made it up here and uh, <clears throat> we got unloaded here pretty much right away almost right away and uh, so I went uh, over here to this little asset truck stop here and uh, had me a good night's sleep and now we are back up again so I figured I'd just close the video for today and uh, get my logbook started and then we'll get home we'll go deliver this load in Winnipeg and then we'll go home so thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next one.